Whisper of the Heart, Part 5, The Quiet Flame The chill of winter had finally settled in, blanketing the town in soft, silvery frost. Inside Alice's home, a fire crackled warmly in the hearth, casting a soft, flickering glow that illuminated the room. The quiet hum of a life shared had taken root over the past few months, filling the spaces between Alice and Jack with a calm, steady rhythm. Their bond had deepened, not through grand gestures or dramatic revelations, but in the small, everyday moments they had learned to cherish. That evening, as the fire burned low and the outside world was shrouded in darkness, they sat together at the dining table, a bottle of red wine half empty between them. The air was filled with an unspoken contentment, yet both of them knew there was still one last conversation they had been avoiding, one final step to truly move forward. It's strange, isn't it, how quickly time moves when you stop counting the days. It feels like yesterday we were walking through the park, talking about second chances, and now, here we are. Yeah, it's like the world slowed down for a while, and we were just living in it, together. But I guess that's what happens when you stop worrying about what's next. You just start living. Jack, do you ever think about the future, about what comes next for us? I do. A lot, actually. I've been thinking about what it means to build a future together. At this point in our lives, it's different, isn't it? We're not starting from scratch like people do when they're younger. We've got years behind us, and not as many ahead of us. But I still think there's a future here, don't you? Question. Do you believe we can build something lasting even when we start later in life? A. Yes, it's never too late to build something real and lasting. B. No, the time we've lost makes it hard to create something that will last. C. It depends on how much we're willing to invest in each other, despite the time that's passed. Answer A. Yes, it's never too late to build something real and lasting. I think it's never too late. Just because we're not starting out young doesn't mean we can't build something that lasts. Maybe it looks different than what we thought it would be when we were younger, but that doesn't make it any less meaningful. It's about what we choose to do with the time we have now, and I believe that can still be something real, something lasting. I want to believe that too, and I think I do. But sometimes I wonder if we've built our lives in such a way that starting over now feels impossible. We're so set in our ways, in our routines. How do we fit into each other's lives after all this time? The fire crackled, filling the brief silence that fell between them. Outside, the wind howled softly its presence felt but distant. Jack took a long sip of his wine, his gaze drifting to the flames as he considered her words. I think it's less about starting over and more about finding where we fit now. We don't have to erase what we've built on our own. It's about finding a way to blend what we have, our pasts, our lives, into something new. We don't have to give up who we are. We just have to make space for each other. That makes sense. It's like we're not trying to replace anything, but adding to what's already there. But even then, Jack, do you ever feel like time is slipping away? Like no matter what we do, there's never enough time left? Of course. 
Time's always slipping away. But that's why we have to make the most of it. It's not about how much time we have left, it's about what we do with it. And I'd rather spend that time with you, no matter how much or how little there is. Question. Do you think we should focus on the time we have left, or should we just live in the moment? A. We should live in the moment. It's the only way to truly appreciate life. B. We should focus on the future to make sure we don't waste the time we have left. C. It's about balance living in the moment while still being mindful of the time we have left. Answer. C. It's about balance living in the moment while still being mindful of the time we have left. I think it's a balance. We need to appreciate the moments as they come without letting the fear of time slipping away consume us. But at the same time, we have to be mindful of the future to make sure we're building something meaningful with the time we have. It's about finding that balance, living for today, but planning for tomorrow. I like that. Living for today, but not losing sight of tomorrow. Maybe that's the secret to finding peace, isn't it? Not worrying about what's already gone or what's yet to come, but just being here with each other right now. The room seemed to grow warmer, the fire crackling gently in the hearth. Jack reached across the table, taking Alice's hand in his. A simple gesture that spoke volumes. Outside, the wind continued to blow, but inside, everything felt still, timeless, as if for that moment, they had all the time in the world. We've spent enough time worrying about the past and about what we've lost. Maybe it's time to stop counting the days and just live. Together. I think you're right. We've been given this time, and no matter how much or how little of it there is, I want to spend it with you. No more waiting, no more holding back. Question Do you believe that love at this stage in life is more about companionship or passion? A. Companionship. It's about having someone by your side through everything. B. Passion. Love should still burn bright, even later in life. C. Both. Passion may change, but it's still there, rooted in companionship. Answer C. Both. Passion may change, but it's still there, rooted in companionship. I think it's both. The passion we knew when we were younger may not be the same now, but that doesn't mean it's gone. It's just changed. It's quieter, but it's still there, rooted in the companionship we've built. Love isn't about choosing one or the other. It's about finding both, even when the fire burns softer. That's what I feel too. The passion hasn't gone. It's just changed. And I think that makes it even more meaningful now because it's not just about the spark. It's about the fire that's lasted all this time, quietly burning, even when we didn't realize it. The fire had burned low, its flames flickering gently as the night deepened. Outside, The wind had calmed, leaving the world in peaceful silence. Alice and Jack sat together, their hands intertwined, their connection stronger than ever. The future was still uncertain, but for the first time, neither of them felt afraid. They had found their balance between passion and companionship. Between the present and the future, and now they would face whatever came next together. So, what do you think? Are we ready for this next chapter? 
Yes, I think we are. The flames flickered once more, casting a warm glow over the room. As Alice and Jack sat in comfortable silence, knowing that whatever time they had left, they would spend it together, bound not by the past, but by the quiet flame of the love they had found. And so, by the quiet flame of the fire, Alice and Jack embraced the time they had left, knowing that love, even in its quietest form, could still burn strong and true. Five Words Related to the Theme of Whisper of the Heart Part 5 The Quiet Flame Serenity The calm and peace that comes from accepting love as it is, without the rush or pressure of time. Continuity The idea that love, like life, carries on and evolves, no matter where or when it begins. Adaptation the understanding that love changes form over time, but remains just as meaningful. Fulfillment. The satisfaction of knowing that love, even when quiet, can still fill the heart completely. Presence. The importance of being fully in the moment, appreciating the now, without worrying about the past or the future.